this video is going to be about Morgan Silver Dollars and how to spot the fake ones. There's three things, you can see them laid out here, that we're going to talk about that you can use to spot a fake piece of silver out in the field, whether it's a yard sale or a flea market or a garage, whatever it is. I'm going to show you some quick and easy ways that you can test your silver. But before we even get into that, I want to know what you guys use. How do you spot your fake silver? Do you use any of these three items here? Comment down below and let me know. Now, without further ado, let's just get right into it. All right, guys, so here we got three Morgan Silver dollars laid out before us, and two look very familiar. These look like the kind that you normally see in the stores or wherever you're shopping around for them. And then we got this guy, nice and shiny. It just doesn't look right. So that's the first thing I wanted to point out to you guys. When it comes to buying silver or gold or any kind of numismatic coin, the first thing is common sense. Does this look real? Does this look fake? If there's any doubt in your mind, you might want to consider not purchasing that coin and moving on to the next deal many more deals will come around don't feel like you're gonna miss the boat if you don't jump on it now don't worry about it. now let's take a closer look at these three Morgans here so I'll start from right to left pretty nice coin right we'll flip this over check out the back side same thing pretty nice coin everything looks to be legit on that one and we'll bring the second coin up here into focus this one has a little bit of a ding here on the side that you can see that's part of why I purchased this coin but this one here, same thing, looks nice, got some nice toning on it, and it looks to be legit, right? So these two coins look to be legit. Now let's take a look at this guy here. How's it look to you? How's this look to you guys? So let's put a side-by-side -side comparison. Which one looks fake? Obviously the one that stands out like a sore thumb, right? Now here's another way you can tell that this guy's fake. Let's check out the back side of this. Now does anything stand out to you guys on this back side? Let me take a closer look. Now what stands out to you guys on the back of this coin? Maybe if I turn it this way, it'll be a little bit easier for you to see. If you haven't spotted it yet, copy. It's stamped copy right on it. That's, that's the number one giveaway for these fakes. Now obviously somebody's not gonna try to sell this off as a real Morgan Silver Dollar. If they are, they're an idiot and the person buying it is just much of an idiot. Let's get into the three things that I think you should always have on you when you're purchasing silver or gold or any kind of numismatic coin the first thing obviously guys is a scale you cannot go wrong with a scale weighing your coins weighing your silver weighing your gold is the easiest way to spot a fake most fakes are made with lead or some sort of alternative metal and they can never really get the weights down to, to an exact science so let's take a look at what these weigh at so we've got our three morgans here now we'll take the fake one here now a Morgan should weigh 26.73 grams. That's the weight of an actual Morgan silver dollar with a diameter of 38.1 millimeters and a thickness of 2.4 millimeters. If you were to get yourself a caliper, you could measure the actual diameter of the coin. You could measure the thickness of the coin. Now you may not be able to see this right away, but I've got two side by side here and there is a discrepancy with the thickness of the coins. You can see that this one is slightly thicker than the actual Morgan. Now that could be due to being circulated and it gets rubbed down, maybe, right, maybe. But let's go ahead and weigh up the fakie. Well, that weighs in at 19.7 grams, and we know that a Morgan should weigh in at 26.73 grams, so clearly the weight is an issue. Now let's go ahead and weigh a real Morgan here. Now this one, I'm gonna be honest with you guys, I've got some discrepancies about this coin here. All right, now let's go ahead and weigh this one up. 25.6 grams, 25.6 grams. Now, that's underweight, guys. Keep in mind this is a circulated coin and the 26.73 grams that a Morgan weighs is an uncirculated coin. So they do have what's called a threshold of variance on the weight, which is about 3%. That's the general consensus is 3%. With this Morgan, this is way more than 3%. This thing would have to weigh in at least 25.92 grams. So we're slightly under that. This coin was given to me in a contest slash raffle, whatever you want to call it. It was a giveaway that somebody had on their Instagram page, and they're no longer on Instagram, at least that I know of. And now that we've weighed those two coins, let's take a look at the other Morgan here, the one with the little nick in it. This is one that I recently purchased. Let's go ahead and weigh that up here. And that's coming in at 26 grams even. Let's go ahead and just double check it. 
26 grams even, and that is an acceptable weight. That is acceptable to me. This is a weathered coin. It has some wear and tear, so it's obviously gonna be down a bit. Now, the second tool that I think you guys definitely wanna make sure you have in your arsenal is a loop. This is a 10 times magnifier loop, and it is beautiful because it folds up just like this, has a little spot for a lanyard on there, you can wear it around your neck, but it's just small, it's very small. Between this scale and this thing here, this is something you could just carry in your hand, put in your pocket, whatever, not a big deal. The other reason why I like this loop, the one that's made of metal, is because you can do a ping test on your coins, and if you don't know what a ping test is, let me show you. Turn your speakers up, put your headphones on, because we're gonna tap this and listen to what sound it makes. This is the fakie, let's give it a tap. Do you hear how that's a really, really, really high dragging out sound? One more time. It's just very, very high and it drags out. Now let's grab a known real Morgan. We're gonna do the same test and give it a little tap. You hear how that's a deeper, low resonating sound? You hear that? All right, let's go back to the fake one. Clearly there's a difference there. So the loop comes into handy. If you have one of these metal guys, it'll do both things for you. It'll let you get up close and check out the coin as well as give it the ping test. If you don't have a loop, you can always tap on the coin with another coin. So if you carry around a real Morgan, take it and tap it onto your potential buy. So let's go ahead and bounce that on my finger. Give it a tap. There's two things that I think you definitely want to make sure you have in your arsenal. The loop and the scale, those are obvious no-brainers, they're easy to carry around. Now the third one here, I'm hesitant to talk about because I want to give you a warning with this one. These are neodymium magnets, and hopefully I said that right, but as you know, if you've watched my videos before, I tend to butcher a lot of the English language. So anyway, these magnets here, these are super duper strong magnets. You can see, I mean it takes a lot of work to just rip these apart. Now the reason why I'm hesitant to talk about these magnets is because of how strong they are. You don't want to put them in the same pocket as your scale. It'll mess up the electronics inside. You obviously don't want to put this in the same pocket as your phone. So now you're running out of pockets. So let's take these magnets and throw these on the fake Morgan. If it's fake, obviously, which it is, it should stick pretty much to it. It shouldn't even really come off without much effort. So there you go, it's, it just kind of sticks there. It'll fall off, but it's, it's a weird, It's a weird kind of metal, so clearly a fake. Now what it should do is just slowly drag off the coin, just slide right off the coin. So take your magnets and just slides down the coin. It's got that little bit of drag on it. All right, so that's the response that you wanna see on your coin. You wanna, you want a little bit of a response. Now you hold the coin at about a 40 to 45 degree angle. The steeper you hold it, the faster it'll move, but you want it to just have enough room to slide off if it wants to slide off, but not so fast to where you miss it, all right? Now, just for comparison's sake, let's take the magnet against an American Eagle here. So let's go ahead and put the magnet on this here and see. Same thing, nice slow drag, nice slow drag. Doesn't stick to it, doesn't fly off of it, it just kinda slowly gets pulled. So a magnet is a good thing to bring with you. It's just a, these are so strong, these magnets, you could ruin a lot of electronics, so I'm very hesitant to bring them out. Now honestly, between the scale, the loop, and your common sense, I think that's more than enough information to make an educated decision when you go to purchase your coins. Obviously, this doesn't really work so much as buying on eBay, which is why I always say, Hold off on buying on eBay until you're a seasoned buyer, until you know what to look for, until you know all the ways to test your coins. Now, I hope you guys found this video informative or entertaining, and if so, please give me a thumbs up and like the video, and also don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions or any tricks that you've used out in the field, please comment down below and let me know. I'm very curious what you guys do to test your silver. Thanks again for watching, guys. Peace out, YouTube.